and Bob, let's face it, you don't need to be traveling, you don't need to be speaking, you don't need to be working anymore. And I see, I see the passion, I see the love in your eyes and just standing here. But what well, keeps no, you going? Well, no, I do have to. You see, I think when you are locked into a mission, you have to follow it. I w I'm reading Churchill right now. There's a great book, Churchill, 1945 to 1955, and it's really pretty fascinating. In fact, I'll probably quote part of it in here. And he was, he was going to America to make a speech for President Truman in uh, 1945, and there were um, a couple of hundred thousand American and Canadian troops being repatriated, being sent back to North America mm -hmm. on the Queen Mary, and he was traveling on the Queen Mary to America to make the speech for Truman. And he said that, uh, and he, he wanted to speak to the troops. And he, he said that from this point on, now these were all young guys in their 20s coming back from war, you know. Mm -hmm. He said their future was in their own hands, that their future would be what they made of it. And he said, last night I was up on the bridge and I was looking at these mountainous waves with anger, just slapping against the ship on all sides. And he said the ship was just cutting right through them. And he thought, what's the difference between the ship and the waves? And he said, the ship has a purpose. It knows where it's going. Mm. All these mountainous waves have no purpose. They're just flipping around all over the place. Well, I think that's the way a lot of people live, like the waves, you know, there's no direction where We've got to have a purpose. And I think that's one of the main things that, uh, that CEOs face teach. And that's what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it for the rest of my life. I love it. Well, I think if every person would sit down and ask themselves, why am I here? You know, what am I doing on the planet? Your purpose is why you're living. And then you build a vision. And the vision is a multiplicity of great goals in the future. And that's how you're going to execute your purpose. And then set a goal. Take a bite out of that vision, the first step you want to take. And, but you've got to sit down and relax to come up with this. You don't go out and decide on a purpose. You discover your purpose. I think you and I, we're all hardwired to do something really great with our life. We've got more potential than uh, we can even grasp with the, the imagination. So we've got to sit down and totally relax and say, why am I here? And when you discover your purpose, when you discover what you really love doing, then dedicate your life to it and encourage everyone you come in contact with to do the same thing. That's what I've been doing for 50 years this October. And if I live for another 50 years, I'll keep doing it. Well, keep doing it. And as Good. I told you off camera, you look the same. I mean, we met 10 years ago. Good looking, handsome. I mean, you're just in great shape. You say and that to all the boys. No, no, no. <laughs>